Hello and welcome back to the Zany Zoroastrian. So the Taglobids and um, war with Armenia, well their internal revolt has ended and that now means that Armenia is independent. So what it means is that we need to check Armenia to see whether we need any of their land. Which I don't believe that we do, which would be fantastic because it means the Taglobids have just been weakened for no reason on our side. Or like we don't have to worry about the, them being fractured. Yeah, we need zero land from over there. Because we don't need Armenia. And we don't need Edessa. Uh, so we're good. Yeah, so that is just fantastic news that they've been weakened. Our truce of the Taglobids is soon. Um, it is August. Nice. Uh, in two years. And they are now significantly weaker than they were at one point. So we just need to get the last little bits off the Taglobids and we're, we're uh, in a good position. Although we still need to get all the lower holdings off all the random people who hold them. But, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get when we can get it. Um, yeah, there are a whole bunch of little bits here and there that we just need to grab. Um, yeah, like Tabaristan and Merv that we've got most of. Like, see, in theory, we have all, well, we have all bar one of Tabaristan. We have all bar one of a lot of things. So maybe our vassals will help us with that. In fact, our vassals are doing some wars. Uh, actually, what about these guys? Do we need their land? No. We do need this bit of Mudar land up here, though. That's unfortunate. Right. But yeah, our vassals were doing some wars on t the Taglobids, but they're all over. Oh, okay then. So they either won or didn't win. What did our vassals do in those wars? Um, you accepted a peace offer. Um... That's just a vassalization war for Samara. Oh, okay. Yep, that's fine. Uh, people call people into holy wars, into holy wars. Yep. Okay. So this was the last one. This is Jael the Cruel. White Peast? White Peast. Ah, okay. Well, our holy wars mostly ended in white pieces then. Okay, we have lost vomiting. Nice, we didn't have cancer. And let's have a look at our levy now. Oh, it maxes out at 13,000. Well, that's kind of disappointing, because we just finished a bunch of castle walls, so I was expecting a little bit more. But, oh, maybe we need to wait for it to rein... We've been waiting for it to reinforce. I was kind of expecting a few more troops, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, maybe it's just calculated now on January 1st? Nope. Nope, it hasn't just calculated. Well, that's unfortunate. People are trying to kill my wife, except they aren't, because we're paranoid. We just think they're trying to kill our wife. Ooh, Taglobid Revolt. Well, don't mind if I do. Uh, I think we should take that last bit of Tabaristan land, pers personally. Yeah. Um, that seems perfect for us. That's exactly where we'd, we would want land. Yeah, okay. Raise up our troops. We're ready for war. Um, except these guys. I'm actually going to merge up up here because... Uh, I think that's going to be slightly better for us this time. Yeah, that's fine. And these guys over here... I have no idea how you're getting to where you're getting, but that's okay. Just try and merge up. Uh, ooh! That's one of our vassals in Mosul is declared a, a war. Or a Jazeera. Now, we don't need Jazeera? Uh, no. We... Oh, no, we do! We need to completely control the Emirate of Jazeera. Oh, that's perfect then. Um, and that is the last bit of it. So if Mosul succeeds, that'd be fantastic for us. They're not going to, but you know, it would be fantastic if they did. Um, let ignore that one. Kermeni War. So basically all my vassals are declaring wars again, which is great. Uh, news from China. Uh, they won their war with the Ayuha Kingdom. Right. Um... Do I need to spend some time alone? Sure. I have the theology focus. Might as well spend some time alone. See how it goes. And... Chance of getting diligent. 10%. Didn't get it. Okay, still got 100 prestige for doing it though. What's my ambition right now? Groom and heir. Okay. Well, he is 5 years old. So, we're on the way. Uh, that was us capturing someone. Let's get rid of those raiders and then head into Gurjan. Yeah, see how that goes. Still merging up over there. That's all right. We have our three leaders. Let's just double check. 
Yep. Oh, that's perfect. We get to kill the uh, whichever one's left, which turned out to be the raiders. Um, so, for Nard, we can get ourselves kind, potentially. We didn't, but we maybe improved the stats. Okay. Wait a few days. Assault down. Assault down. Assault down. Now, annoyingly, it doesn't look like he holds all of it. Yeah, he holds all bar one of it here. It means one of my vassals is going to have to declare a holding war at some point, but yeah. Bit annoying. Uh, anyway, let's head this army over this way. Oh, wait, no, it's the Tackle Bits. I want to head over. Th hmm. It's not really a great way to head. Put a wife in charge with that guy and that guy. Um, maybe I will just block the Tackle Bits from coming over here. Maybe try and kill their troops while we're hostile. Yeah, there's not that many of them, so. Um, yeah, let's compose our family chronicles. Chance of getting proud, which I don't believe we got. Nope. Okay. Um, now we'll just wait, basically. They might want to surrender soon, actually, given that we have the land that we want. Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll march straight over their land then. It's okay. Uh, my mother would like my spy master to go. No, that's fine. He'll go by himself in a minute. He's about to die. Um, we can't... Oh, yeah, we can change over here. Perfect. Didn't get any war score for that, but that's okay. Uh, we need a new commander. New commander is going to be... Probably... This guy? We maybe need some better commanders at some point. Child needs an education. This is our son. He's very into diplomacy and intriguey stuff, so maybe thrift. That works for me. Everything else is fine. Looks like it. Over here, we can assault that one down. Nice. Uh, we can then assault it down again. And then probably assault it down again. That's 96%. Probably don't even need to come over here because we've already won the war pretty much. Yeah. He might just surrender now. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's not siege their capital because maybe one of the other ones has lower um, fort limit. Although, this, if they're sieging here, maybe... Anyway, whatever. Figure it out. Some reports have reached you that traders and travelers are being harassed by raiders in your lands of Shiraz. Um, I'm going to send my marshal to hunt them down. Okay. Yeah, we can't... Yeah, we're not leader of the siege problem there. Uh, he did it. Fantastic. I'm just going to head over here. We have ticking war score. We're pretty much won. Yeah. So we'll just wait for that to uh, finish up. 100% war score. And we can offer peace and force demands. Nice. So it looks like we hold all of Tabaristan. Except we don't. So. This guy probably desires the land that we just got. Yep. That's okay. We'll give that away. And all the lower titles. He now loves us again. Uh, but we're missing this one because it's still owned by the Taglobids, so we do not completely control Tabaristan. See, that's going to be the problem, is at some point we're going to have a lot of land that we mostly control and don't completely control. But at least we can do holding wars, which are much, much quicker and easier to do. Because they're not... they don't have the same kind of uh, penalties as holy wars. Uh, because, well, basically in a holy war you have all these other people who can join. In one of these wars, there's like... You know, two people, like, uh, maybe their uh, ally can join, potentially. We got 70 gold there. This person, 28. You know what? We don't have a concubine, so let's just grab a concubine. Nice. Good. Um, We want to move these guys down to Elam, where we merge up. And our truce with the Taglobids ends in... Oh, uh... 20, not, not even 20 days, 19 days. Nice. Let's slow that down. Truce has ended? Yes. Yes, it has. And are they in the defensive pack yet? Hmm. Don't look like they're in the defensive pack yet, so this is another chance for war. Uh, let's have a look at the duchies over here. Jilan and Tabriz seem like good options. Although we could also declare for these ones, and these ones might be slightly better. Have a look. Ah, they're split though. These are split duchies. Merv gets us two. Three. 
Merv gets us three from them. I think Merv is a good one to declare for. That means that they only have two bits of land left over here, which are in different duchies, but yeah, that's fine. But yeah, Merv seems like a good one. Three, three provinces, lowers where Tabaristan actually are on the map. That works perfectly for me. Yeah, I think that's a good answer. So we declare a holy war for Merv. Right, there we go. Immediately has to be done because otherwise they'll join the defensive pact. Um, so even though we would prefer to wait a second or two, this is the best way to handle it. Right, speed it up again and merge up. So it's back to another war with these guys. Um, we have enough morale that I think we can take this if I put commanders in charge. That's fine. I don't really care though because it's a revolt, but we should be fine. My concubine is pregnant. Uh, I might move 5,000 in here just to help. Oh, never mind. They were fine. Okay. Um, well, you can both head back there then. That's alright. Um, merge this army. The 24,000 troops. They're going to head over here to block. To kind of siege and block any armies from coming over. And then these guys are probably going to go and siege. The Teutonic Campaign. The beginning uh, campaign against the Pagans to the north. Okay. Interesting. So, somewhere up there. Um, Well, we don't need to worry about that. Or maybe Pagans to the north might mean on Chernigov, because they are massive. They have so many revolts. That is... Yeah. That's unfortunate for them. Yeah, anyway, back down here. Merge up. There we go. Uh, and I think I actually want all of our troops to head up onto that province. Good. Let's check in whether... Uh, actually, we can probably head up this way. We'll probably be fine heading up that way. I don't see any large armies coming from that side. I think they're busy with other wars, so... We'll let them be busy with other wars. Great Holy War for Arabia. Uh, the great Mobadin Mobad Afshar has declared a great holy war against Sultan Mansur of the Husanit Sultanate and the followers of Allah in the Kingdom of Arabia. All true Zoroastrian men are called to arms against their old arch enemy. Muhammad was the mouthpiece of Araham and all of his works must be destroyed. Um, excuse me? Do you want me to declare on the Husains for Arabia? This doesn't seem like land I want. But at the same time, I want to be in your war. <laughs> I mean, can... Um, do I just say, hey, let me let me in? Sure. Great Holy War for Arabia, let's go. I mean, given I can't declare the Great Holy Wars, I just have to take what, you know, what they give me. Essentially. Uh, so we'll win this Taklabid War and then be right over. Another 500 gold just randomly given to us. My son uh, has been born. Wonderful. Nothing special about him, but, you know, he is born. Assault down. Uh, you made someone dislike me. Okay. It's fine. There's a liberation war in Arabia. Well, isn't that convenient that that's where I'm about to go? Uh, assault down. Assault down. This one, assault down. We're at 99%. Was that a surrender I saw pop? Yeah, that is a surrender. Wonderful. Except. So now we control all of Merv? Merv, 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 Merv. Yes! That's every province of Merv. Did anyone already control Merv? This guy did. Well. Fantastic. Can I create the Duchy of Merv? Yes, I can. Hey, this guy. You are now the Duke of Merv. Enjoy. He loves it. He's now directly underneath us, so we have actually weakened Kerman as well by doing that. Or split them up a little bit more. We've made our realm look a lot more sensible as well. Uh, you head down there. You're gonna head down... I could cross over here, I suppose. Doesn't really make a difference. Well, yeah, whatever. This is probably still quicker. Right. And then head down here. This is all going alright. My wife is praying again. Fantastic. 
Still have uh, mostly sons. Only one daughter. Yeah. Rich merchants want to buy uh, titles and the barons um, protest, saying that titles are priceless. Yeah, just give me the money. That's fine. We have so much money right now. <laughs> That's great. How much are we making per month? 45 with armies raised and uh, retinue reinforcing. That's more like it. Okay. Uh, yeah, head down here and get that bit of land. Um, do you have leaders? Yeah, you have the secondary leaders. That's okay, though. They're still very good. Okay, so who else are we at war with? Not just the Great Holy War. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have bad news from Shiraz. You have lost reinforcements. I've never seen this event. Well, I don't think I've seen it. 3% chance? Um, yeah. Wow. That's horrible. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, we expanded. Um, so that is Jilal the Cruel accepted a peace offer from this guy. So did we get Mosul? Or Jazeera? Jazeera. Aha. Fantastic. So we now control all of Jazeera? That's what I'm hoping. Jazeera, no. So that means that one in Jazeera is controlled by someone else. So Jazeera has these two. Yeah, this one's controlled by Egypt. Of course. Right. Um, that's fine. We're winning this battle. This guy's going to start the march over the desert. Oh, no. Do we have an easier way around? Maybe this way? Is low supply limit whatever way you, you uh, go here. Um, oh, he's still hunting for the artifact. Well, I'll lower levy size. Can we already raised our levy? Right. So that's the end of that revolt. It just disappeared. The war didn't even end. It just disappeared. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'd like you to get over here. I'm not entirely sure how you're going to manage that. Uh, with any number of troops remaining, but... Okay, how do I even... I guess I have to split up. So they do something like this. Yeah, you head out to Al Hassa and I'll work out what I'm doing here. My, my ugly son has been born. Okay. My concubine is pregnant. Fantastic. So split up. Uh, actually, that might be enough. Yeah, we'll go with this. Then we'll start marching along really slowly. So, I want you to head over here. You to head over there. Head in here. Head in here. Right. And now we shouldn't take as much... Um, yeah, we shouldn't take as much attrition now. Unless they happen to be on the same province for any amount of time. So, I have to actually stagger that slightly. So, move... Uh, wait, move. You're fine. Wait. Wait. Okay. So you start moving. Then we wait. Now we go. Right. Just wait long enough so that they're unlikely to um, interfere with each other. We could actually have a look at when they're going to arrive, but... Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, my wife has stopped touching me or even looking at me. And now it whispers of her and that old boar... Navaba Humayandok. And I can't take it anymore. Um, I'm going to confront the harlot. And see what happens. She's Jack's shock and denies having an affair with my wife. Well, I'll pay to have them both watched. Except I'm not apparently paying anything, which is perfect. Yeah, you head over there. So then you can still move into provinces. You head over there. Right. Um, I live my life as other men do, navigating its rocks and obstacles, doing my best to achieve success in my endeavours. Still, everything we do takes place in the light of Ahura Mazda, and we must at least, um, we must care at least the influence of Angra Manu comes into our life. Um, I'll ponder this more deeply. Sure. Right. Um, where are these guys' troops? He also has a lot on his side, which is worrying. That we can't see where any of his troops are right now. Call for my court physician. My wife is unwell. My spies have caught my wife and her lover in 
flagrant delicio near a delayed in Shiraz. Let's not make this a scandal. That's fine. Whose troops are these? Are they in the war? Damn it. Or are they just hostile? I think they're just hostile. I don't think they're actually in the war. Oh no, they are. Oh, right. Well. Yeah, we'll, we'll beat you up in a second. This one, um, I think we'll have siege for just now. We have a daughter. Nice. Uh, with the bloodline, very importantly. But yeah, it's still good. Right. Everyone's sieging down. Crusade for France. I forgot that France was Sunni. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares a crusade for France. The Christian lords from all over the world, uh, across the world, gathers lord. The Christian lords gathers, lords gather from all across the world to bring uh, France into the fold of the Christian kingdoms. <laughs> all right. Well, sure. That's uh, sure something. Um. Right, first siege is done. Happy with this. So that now means that they have lost taking war score because we can now control some of their land in Arabia. Nice. Do I want to break my siege to fight these troops? Probably not. I think the sieging is more valuable right now because I want to merge up when I fight. Yeah. I also want to find out where their armies are, but that's okay. They're going to be facing the same problems as we are with attrition in theory. Uh, Baram has returned and brought with him a well-preserved head. He has proof it once belonged to a famous holy man. Perhaps he might bespo it might uh, bespo bestow upon me some of the wisdom it once contained. So I can say that's what I pay him for. Ensure he's suitably rewarded or he's earned my favor. Here, I have 200 gold. It's fine, we got the he head of a famous holy man. What's it do? Um, the venerated head of a holy man that once contained great wisdom. Um, I, I don't know. Um, head of a, uh, man ahead of his time. You see, ahead? That, that's, that's my joke there. It would be better if I put quotes around it, but I'm not going to spend as much time on it. That's alright, I'm, I'm in a war. I've got to be in war mode. Right. Gonna finish this siege any moment now. We assert oh, my uh, vassals is hurt. Assert something. Is that internally? That's internally. Okay. Well, that's fine. So this one's about to finish. Nice. Still can't see where the troops are from uh, the person we're fighting, but that's okay. Ooh, dancing plague. Is that a thing we need to worry about? Maybe not. Maybe. Um. So we finished another siege here. Is this still this? Oh, this is a better supply limit there. We could merge these guys up. I think I will. Uh, is this better supply limit? Not yet. Okay. It's okay. That's a large army. I am going to merge up. Just to keep ourselves a little bit safe. You know? Um. I will leave them... Sp well... Oh, they just went straight in and desieged. Okay, we're going to assault down here. And I'm going to attack in with our proper leaders. Are we good here? No, because it's desert. Um, Could go two aggressive leaders. Let's try that. And then I'm actually going to send this one round behind as well. Make sure we have the best leaders we can in charge of this one. So who do I have? I have these three. Do I have an organizer? I don't have an organizer. So I guess it's him plus these two. They aren't amazing, but you know, get more of these cup things, which is pretty nice. Oh wait, is this just is this just the crusader trait? Oh wait, saying this might just be the crusader trait. So if I lead this army. Yeah, this is just the Crusader trait. Oh, okay, cool. Well, in which case, I can do that and then immediately switch it back. So not Marek, Esther, or Afsvar. So it's this guy. Right. So that's just free to Marshall. I should just be doing that. Okay, that's good. 
We should be fine here. Oh, actually, we're not going to be fine here because there's another army coming in. But we have another army coming in, but ours is a little bit further behind. Yeah, this is worrying. So we start off well. They have no leaders on the side. So this side just fell apart completely, got destroyed, which is great. The 6,000 are coming. They're going to arrive on in eight days, but this side is this flank is lost. Okay, we're going to be here on 11th. So yeah, they've merged in. So they have 13,000 troops, but this flank is still dead. So that's actually still great for us because it's 3,000 of their troops don't exist, and we have a flanking bonus. The rest of ours arrive on the 7th of August. They're probably going to be unnecessary, but we'll see. Yeah, they're completely unnecessary. In fact, the, the battle's already over. Um, I'm going to switch these guys' position. Just in a way to try and reduce attrition. Um, see how we can do there. We did take a little bit, but that's fine. Right, assault down. Nice. Um, here. It's going to move in one. Going to head you back over. Nice. Um, do we want... I've spent many uh, years studying the basic tenets and beliefs of the Zoroastrian faith. Now consider myself quite an advanced Zoroastrian scholar. Do you want to be a theologian? No. But chance will become, become known as scholar of the wise. Now known as the wise. Nice. Okay. Probably due to that wise head I got. Um, let's... Well, we could switch this up, but I'm going to stick with theology for just now. Um, if I put all 18,000 troops here, I could start assaulting. Maybe. Can I assault this one? Thir in 37 days' time, I could assault that one. I think I just siege. That's fine. I'm just going to ignore that uh, Lover's event again. Victorious Crusaders. God has granted Theopano of the Thracian Revolt victory in the Crusade for France. Um, King Herbert II of England has been beaten at every turn during the war. What? Um, oh, is that now his new position is Herbert II of England? <laughs> Wait, no. So there's Crusader France. All right, so we have Crusader France. We have actual France, which is now Catholic. Oh, right, I see. So now things have got really weird. And also this is the Holy Roman Empire, not Valencia, of course. Owned by a Carling. Um, so we have massive Genoa. We have... Massive Valencian Holy Roman Empire. France c lost their revolt to the, which made them Christian. But at the same time, so that got France out. But at the same time, they were still hostile to England. So the rest of France became Crusader France. But Crusader France is French is is uh, Sunni. What the hell is happening over there? Wait. Wait, no, Crusader. Oh, no, wait, that's Crusader West Francia. What? <laughs> I'm a little lost at what happened over there. I, I kind of hate it. That's... Yeah. Okay. Something happened over there. We, we'll focus on our own force. <laughs> that is awful. Okay. Um, what's the, uh, chances of us... Oh, we're, wait, we've already sieged everything here? Why does it only say we partially sieged? Oh, we haven't taken the top one. Oh, okay. Well, I might do this then. Try and bait them into another fight. Oh, there's Bam. Just randomly in the war. Or randomly here, I should say. Let's merge and then attack. Yeah. Do this. That should be fine. We have enough troops, right? Yep, we have proper leaders. This should be fine. Yep. I think we're good. Well, they don't have a leader on the right flank, so that's my uh, hopefully stuff there. Hopefully that's going to win it. Our center should hold, maybe. Gets a bonus. Well, he doesn't actually get a bonus, but okay. This is tighter than I wanted it to be, actually. Our center is going to get crushed. Okay, well. Turns out, actually, our center gets crushed. 
and then we lose. Uh, retreat. Both of you. Get out of there. Just any way you can. Just get out of that battle. Right. Not great. Uh, ideally, Bam, come and help us. Uh, do we still have highest participation? By far. Cool. I want to go over to Bam. Uh, we do have a dangerous faction for Gavelkind, which... Uh, okay. This guy is in both of them. He has really high marshals, so I could put him in here. Uh, oh, I hate that event, because it always gets fussy no matter what. What are you good at? You're good at Spy Mastery? Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to find a way I can shuffle my council around. I need to get rid of my Darek Pat, basically, unfortunately. So, can I change council position? Yeah, I want you to be my Darek Pat. I want you to be my Spy Master, whatever that's called. Spy Master, wonderful. So, change council position to Spy Master. Nice. And then I can change him over to that guy. Council is not discontent, so we can't join a faction. Go train troops in our capital. Right, but he is also our leader. So maybe I'll... Um, maybe I need to not do that. But anyway. I need the faction not to trigger, which is our main thing. Uh, you go collect taxes. Your scheme. Right. I should kill this faction. Yeah, good. Okay. We might be being chased here. Can't see yet. Not being chased. At least not by the full army. Gonna merge up and head home. Just for a few days. They are gonna get a bunch of their sieges back. Although I do want to help down there as well. Let's, he let's help down there. Right, so we'll have Ashfar. We'll have Ramadan. We'll have my wife. Okay, that's fine. Are these the best leaders I have available? Uh, let's just check if I have anyone else. I have two new commanders. So, I have that guy. Oh, he's my Mobad, so he's not available. My nephew, who is a holy warrior, which is fairly good. Hmm. And I have Baram, who's our court eunuch. Um, let's see. Let's go Marshal. Search all. We'll join court. We can get some people in. Okay. Let's invite to court. Um, invite to court. And maybe invite to court. Yeah, get an organizer in here. Nice. Okay. Still going. That's fine. Right. Now we can make sure that we have the best leaders. So we'll replace like, the 14 with the 21. The other 14 with... Uh, with another one. Place you. Right. So now our best leaders are probably still the same people, roughly. That you can be replaced. Nice. Um, and our wife could temporarily be replaced with somebody who gives us movement speed. Which seems like a good idea. If I wanted to try and get to where Bam are. Bam are heading to Mecca. Yeah. Well, that's where we want to be. Right. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fine. Although we kind of want to be back here. If Bam aren't being actively attacked, we want to just take a back seat here. They are being actively attacked, but only when we turned our back. Okay. Now they're being beaten up. Okay, well, that's unfortunate for us. We just need to reinforce. We reinforce 2,000 a month, so. It's some good speed. Oh, did Iraq just join or someone just joined here? The Jalush is Satrapi joined. Oh, okay. Cool. We got another on our side. Um, I'm happy to reinforce another couple thousand troops. That's a large number of num troops they have sitting here, taking no attrition. Just as a point. Because um, the AI doesn't take as much attrition as you do. That is, that is my main problem with attrition mechanics, is the AI don't follow the same rules. Um, but anyway, whatever. Um... Let's give her a Thrift Education. I see maybe a Duty Education. Split my army up into half. And that stopped us taking attrition. Right. Then maybe move forward into the Taglibid land here. 
This is fine. Right. We should be good to move in. Um, do we go with, like, that group? Why not? Fine. So we're only 8% war score now. Where, where are their armies? Their armies just disappeared. The, the people were fighting his arm. Oh, I guess they might be in fog of war. That's possible. Oh, there they are. Okay. Merge up. <laughs> um, the dragon has won a war. We are being attacked. Oh, and we're fighting. Oops. I was going to change my commanders, but they don't have leader on this side, so we're good. So we have even troops on the right side, so we should win that, especially looking at how it's going. Our center, we have slightly less, but we have a much better commander. And then on the left side, we have even troops, but no commander. So we should be able to win, in theory. Let's see. The center fell so quickly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the enemy cornered my commander and killed him. Unfortunate, but he wasn't the one leading the main army. And that is a huge win us. That's a 20% war score win in one battle. Although it doesn't say that. Maybe it was a 13% war score. Anyway, we, we went up to 20%. Um, right. Uh, thief was... Uh, we had a thief event there. We can ignore it. We lost 10 prestige or something like that. Uh, we had a new steward. New steward's gonna be... Well, for just now it can be Danush. And Danush can go and collect taxes. Right. And here, you made somebody like me. Cool. I don't know if I need you to make him like me, but that's fine. Do I need a new person for 78 gold? No. Right. Assault. Good. Capturing people now. Another assault. This is going to be a huge amount of war score because there's so much we can instantly assault, pretty much. We can probably assault this one as well, despite not having the troops for it. Yeah. Nice. This is good. So we're at 63% war score. Head down to Asir and we can do the same here. And we can beat up an army. Perfect. We'll make sure we have leaders. Uh, do I need the organizer? Probably not. If I don't need the organizer, I can just put aggressive leaders in. Okay. Good. We have doubled their troops, so that's a solid win. Um, we might want to retreat back here. Of course, we could just assault it. Nice. So we're at 78% war score. If we head down here, we should be able to win. Just head straight through the enemy troops. If possible. We're going to hiding for a few days. I am actually going to switch this so we can't lead armies. Just so we're not leading armies. I know there's an army here that is going to join, but I think we're stronger. Which is why I'm attacking. Uh, chance of getting diligent, and we didn't get it. Okay. They are attacking into us. We are destroying them because they're attacking one at a time. Great. That was perfect. There's more coming. Which is even better. Oh, but they didn't join in for whatever reason. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that. Do we want to assault down? Yes. Nice. We can assault down the next one as well. We inherited something, but I'm going to ignore it. Because we're not over our supply limit. Or not over our um, domain limit. Child needs an education. This is our son. The only thing he's good at is intrigue. Let's find him somebody to train him in that. So that's going to be... Hafez, maybe? Oh, he doesn't have good... No, he's not what we're looking for. Ah, my mother can train him. Good. Right. Good. Take that one down. We're a few war score off. Assault down. Nice. 100% war score. I know that he should be able to win it for us, so... Nice! Ah, Shahan Shah, Babak the Wise, has created the Shadow of Arabia. Nice. Great Holy War is over. Uh, is granted Shahan Shah, Babak of the Ishaquid Empire, victory in the Great Holy War for Arabia against Sultan Mansur of the Husnit Sultanate. The Mohabad, uh, the Mohab, 
that more bad Dan, more bad Afshar, has called for a month of celebration across the whole Mazdan world. Look at that, all of Arabia is ours, and there's also Crusade, Crusader Egypt now. You know, just if you wanted another Crusader uh, title to exist, there's now Crusader Egypt. And the Holy Roman Empire is... And now there's just an England. Just, you know, out of nowhere. There's Sunni England. <sighs> and, yeah, huge revolt. Things are going crazy. Carpathia is taking over half the world. This is probably one of the craziest maps I've seen. Ireland has decided that no longer will it be known as Ire because it's now owned by an Italian, so now it's Ireland. Sure. Whatever. Um, we've got all this land. We're going to give it away next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.